KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Sullivan. Good evening, everybody. We'll recap the day. Very interesting day. Warm for most of us and then a quick cool down. It didn't last. 81 Santa Cruz earlier, 86 in Watsonville, just 60s there right now. Had a nice uh, 20 degree cool off with the low clouds and the fog. 90s up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Hey, we had a mix of 70s and 80s on the peninsula. It's been a long time. I think it's actually been, uh, oh, we got to go back to May, actually, to see those kinds of numbers uh, in the record books. Uh, Monterey hit 84 today, uh, 91 in Carmel Valley, so uh, toasty. Uh, but again, it didn't last all that long. The, uh, the southerly surge took care of it, 87 in Salinas, 99 in King City, and it was a toasty one in Gilroy, they were warmer than Palm Springs today. They hit 101. Not a record, though. I think the record was 103. So no records, but it was toasty. 60 now, Santa Cruz. 69 in Monterey. 60 in Salinas. It's downright chilly now with the fog encroaching. Upper 70s in Gilroy and 81 in Hollister. Watch the low clouds. They're coming up from the south. This is what we call the southerly surge. Hooks around the bay, comes into Salinas, comes into Santa Cruz, and just takes those temperatures and drops them uh, like a rock. 97 in Sac today, 99 in Palm Springs. As I said, it was warmer in Gilroy, 79 in Lake Tahoe. Uh, mostly 70s and 80s here west side of the Continental Divide. You push over to the other side, 80s and 90s. St. Louis, 90 degrees right now, as well as Dallas. We also have some moisture to talk about. Some of it, of course, courtesy of Newton. Uh, Newton no longer a tropical storm, a hurricane, uh, just a bat to tropical moisture, putting some rain down Arizona, New Mexico, and also some showers and thunderstorms now tracking into parts of Michigan. Grand Rapids uh, getting some of that up towards uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin also seeing some of those. So there is some action out there. Thankfully, uh, none of it is severe and we still have what's left of Hermine. It's hard to believe, but it's been almost a week. Uh, he's been sitting off uh, the East Coast and uh, no longer a tropical storm or a hurricane either. There are your low clouds. They basically go from Santa Cruz down to Point Conception. So they were bottled up in Southern California. They made their way north. It is crystal clear from San Francisco to the Oregon border, so no low clouds there. Now with the light winds today, and we didn't have that big sea breeze, air quality went downhill a bit. Moderate Santa Cruz, moderate Hollister, good here in Salinas, but unhealthy for sensitive groups in Soledad and moderate in King City. So we'll probably see this for the next 12 to 24 hours until we get our stronger sea breeze back. No rain in the forecast. Big Ridge of high pressure here. Of course, we start looking out to the north this time of year for any early signs. We can get rain in September, although we usually don't. And there's a bit of the jet stream. It's not really well consolidated, but there's a little chunk of energy there. So again, we'll wait. It'll probably be October, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. Of course, we got the warm air around and that'll stick around for another couple of days. At the coast, though, of course, southerly winds tomorrow, banking up low clouds in here. Uh, from Santa Cruz to Monterey. So it looks like it's going to be a cool, much cooler day along the coast tomorrow. Inland, there'll be some cooling for sure, but not the dramatic cooling we had along the coast today. Westerly breezes shift in tomorrow afternoon. That should help our air quality once again. 52 to 59 tonight. Low clouds, of course, have already made a return for some coastal communities. Areas of fog could be pretty dense in the morning, too, or just make that even starting now. Uh, there could be some really dense fog with that southerly surge. 60s and 70s tomorrow, coast side, 70s and 80s for the valley. So they'll see a nice 10 degree drop. Mid 60s in San Francisco, some upper 70s in Mountain View, and we'll put in 80s for the Santa Clara Valley, about 81 to 85. So again, we'll take away the, uh, the really hot stuff. 70 in Salinas, upper and middle 80s uh, for King City, and still 80 in Carmel Valley, but upper 60s now, Monterey and Seaside. So your one-day heat wave is done. Uh, low 70s for Watsonville and Santa Cruz, and middle 80s in Boulder Creek and Ben Lomond. KSBW 8-day forecast. Coastal side, 60s and 70s. Low clouds are back in for the remainder of our forecast here going right through the weekend and into next week and uh, we'll just see 60s mostly by the bay next week. It'll actually be fairly cool statewide. 70s and 80s coming through for the valleys right through Sunday and then another little trough pushes through, drops our temperatures again starting Monday and Tuesday, maybe just 70s next week for the valleys. All right. Fall All right. weather's here. Yes. Oh, yeah.